Hey, what is going on guys? Slather here and wow that feels so different to say out loud. Now ladies and gentlemen, today's topic is coming from FaZe Tfue and FaZe Clan itself. FaZe Tfue has been arguably the biggest, the most popular Fortnite streamer of the year. Now with over 6 million followers on Twitch, with over 10 million subscribers on YouTube, and he averages over 3 million a video on YouTube, Tfue is a huge name in the esports community and he is a huge addition for FaZe Clan itself. Now guys, I'm not here to hype up Tfue, I already kind of hyped him up, but I was just saying that so you guys have an image of how big and how fundamental Tfue really is to esports and FaZe Clan itself. Now guys, all this news broke on The Hollywood Reporter this morning when they published an article titled Esports Pro Sues Gaming Organization FaZe Clan Over Oppressive Contract. And if you guys want, you can go read this. This link will be in the description. But on Twitter, Keemstar broke the news tweeting breaking Tfue sues FaZe Clan for being trapped as a illegal contract Allegedly, FaZe was taking 80% of his brand deal revenue. New Drumler today trying to get a record statement from FaZe. Spoke to Tfue, the lawsuit is real, waiting on a statement from him and FaZe as well. Now, Keem then tweeted, FaZe Clan plans to issue a statement soon via Twitter. Now, Nate Shot was one of the first to hop on this, and he tweeted, For what it's worth, I'm personally friends with a lot of the owners and staff at FaZe Clan. I know for a fact that the majority of them don't have have ill intentions but some at the organization just don't understand the esports ecosystem and take advantage where they can now phase blaze was not happy about this he tweeted back at nate shot saying bro what the fuck none of us can believe what you just tweeted nate shot quickly responded to phase blaze saying as i said in the dms these tweets weren't directed at any of you not banks not temper not rain not apex none of you now nate shot jumped in on this and tweeted i hope recent news doesn't affect the broader gaming community's perception of esports teams. There are plenty of organizations in the space whose top priority are their professional players and content creators. Now it seems and this is just a guess, that a couple of the FaZe guys didn't take too kindly to this tweet. FaZe Banks responded to this tweet tweeting, You're a piece of shit dude, and when my side of this is heard, you'll see why. Way to fucking jump on the bandwagon and chase the clout. You must be dancing right now. Matt, I'm going to personally make sure you regret tweeting this and adding to this bullshit dumpster fire. Wow. Now Nate Shaw quickly deleted this tweet, and after he did delete the tweet, FaZe Banks' tweet was also deleted because it was a reply to the original tweet but after banks actually tweeted this at nate shot nate shot actually apologized nate shot also tweeted i have the utmost respect for what banks temper rain apex have created at phase we've been working together and alongside one another for almost a decade i apologize if my previous tweets don't reflect that sentiment. This situation is being blown out of proportion. I've done my best to avoid unnecessary controversy and drama over the last few years, but my tweets today were an oversight on all accounts. I'd like to apologize to everyone at the FaZe Clan organization for jumping in unnecessarily. Now, FaZe Banks was one of the first FaZe owners to tweet out publicly regarding this issue. He tweeted, yo, this whole thing with Tfue is pretty unbelievable. The first thing I'd like to say is that we do not and have never taken 80% of anyone's prize money. Not sure where this came from, but a contract like that has never existed. We've collected $0 from Turner's prize money zero now i assume he's talking about prize money like esports championships and money that tfue has won from gaming events and stuff like that now later on keemstar also tweeted talk to phase they said they have only taken sixty thousand from tfue since he has been in phase and the contract for brand deals is 80 80 20 with tfue getting the 80 percent not phase setting up an interview with phase banks now after this phase blaziken tweeted Listen, all I'm going to say is I'm going to defend my bros and my team until the day I die. I know I'm biased, but I'm also one of the few people that know the actual facts of this situation. FaZe will make a statement shortly. FaZe Tico tweeted saying, Always two sides of every story. Crazy to see so many fans and even friends turning their back and publicly doing so without even knowing half of it. I love FaZe. Hashtag FaZe up forever. Apex then tweeted, As tough as it may be 
after reading such big claims as the ones that were made wait for all the info before believing everything you see and forming an opinion you'll have our side shortly oh and phase banks also has the tattoo and i quote code tfu tattooed on his leg he tweeted out saying like i got code tfu tattooed on my body imagine how fucking stupid i feel right now now guys a lot of other allegations came out during this controversy and drama on twitter there was a claim that phase clan pressured tfu into drinking before he was 21 the legal age to drink and there was a couple others i don't even want to get into specifics because these are just allegations i don't want to say that they're true i don't want to say that they're false and allegations like these always come out when some controversy comes out but yeah guys this was a very big deal so big that in the united states on twitter phase clan was trending with over 37,000 tweets Tfue was trending with over 18,000 tweets and even Nate Shot was trending with over 9,000 tweets. And yeah guys, I expect a lot of more information and a lot of different sides of the story are going to come out. Now guys, as I was editing this video, FaZe Clan finally came out with a statement and here it is. It says, we are shocked and disappointed to see the news of Tfue's press article and lawsuit. Over the course of our partnership with him, which began in April 2018, Face Clan has collected a total of $0 from the tournament winnings, $0 from the Twitch and YouTube revenue, and $0 from any social platform. In fact, we have only collected a total of $60,000 from our partnership while Tfue has earned millions as a member of the FaZe Clan. Now the last sentence is where it gets a little confusing. They tweeted, we're proud of what we've accomplished together over the past year with Turner and will continue to support him. Now the way that this is worded, it sounds like they actually let him go. They let Tfue go out of the contract without the lawsuit. And I'm not really sure if they did or if the lawsuit is going to keep going on. But yeah guys, those are two sides of the story. We don't really know who's lying or about what they are lying lying but tfue says his point face clan has said their point it's up to you guys to decide but yeah guys i'm slather and i'll see you guys in the next news video peace